soulmates another day another video this is again your soulmate charm so for today's video guys this is a part two part two of the differences between philippines and denmark based based in my experience so um if you have if you are here in denmark or if you know someone from denmark who has different experiences or have something to share please feel free to put that on the comment section below so yesterday i shared like five differences now i like i will share a couple more differences based in my experience um by the way today is tuesday and it's six degrees here in denmark i just woke up again and it's having my breakfast i have scrambled egg eggs and toast i'm almost done with my breakfast and of course coffee i can't last a day without it uh, especially here i drink a lot of coffee here anyways so just to add up to the list um, one thing that's uh that i noticed is when they eat here, they don't have spoon in their cutlery. So they only have fork and knife. So pretty much that's, that's it. So when I eat, I always ask for fork, either in our house, in our parents' house, or in some of the restaurants. Depends, depends on what we eat. So yeah, no fork, no, no spoon, I mean. So next one is in their bathrooms here they have a lot of tissue paper they use tissue paper to clean themselves you know what i mean you know what you do in the bathroom guys and like in the philippines we use tap water we have pail and um dipper so yeah i'm still with the filipinos in um cleaning ourselves I still think that we are the cleanest when it comes to like our bathroom. Um, so that's also one thing that I notice. Um, my husband wants me also to include traffic and wide roads. So yeah, I really, really like that. Really, 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 really like that. Lily, Lily. I'm like Ryan Bum already. Really like that here. There's no traffic and roads are wide so you'll not be afraid to drive here to learn driving here which i am starting um my husband is teaching me and yeah that's one thing so uh, another thing is there stores groceries supermarkets whatever they pack their own grocery items or the things that they shop they don't have what we call in the philippines bagger they don't have that here so you need to bring your own bag and you need to pack your own items either it's a it's clothes whatever or it's groceries you need to do that um one thing as well is they're digital here. When I say digital, they have counters that you'll just scan your item and pay it with your card. And then put it in a bag. So no cashier, no bagger, no everything. It's just you. Um, also, um, what else? Oh, this is what I love. They have this recycling, I forget the name, but I'll look for that and share that in the comment section below or in the description. They have this machine that in a store where you bring your plastic bottles, um, and then put it there. Then you'll get a receipt, total amount. So it's like they will pay you for your trash guys, plastic bottles, and then the total you can pay that to for your groceries or whatnot 
So, yeah, I noticed that in one of the groceries here in Nettle. Um, yeah, when we had our grocery shopping ones. So, yeah, they're also very practical, not practical. They're also very, what do you call that? They're very particular with their recycling and um, trash segmentation here. Like you really, they really have, you also have that in the Philippines, but we're not really religious with it. But here, yeah. They have big trash cans with seg compartment or segmentation, plastics, metal, car cardboard, whatever. So yeah, that's also one thing here. So pretty much that's it. Um, that's a part two or additional things that I noticed based on my experience difference between Denmark and the Philippines. To, to sum it up, first again is the no spoon um, when eating. Second is use a toilet paper in the bathroom. Oh, by the way, guys, I almost forgot. I just noticed that they're fond of having bath tubs here. I noticed that in my parents' house and in our house here. So yeah. I, anyways, I just added that. So toilet paper, and then third is um yeah, they don't have bagger here. They pack their own grocery or shopping items and. The road, there's no traffic and they have wider roads here. And lastly, is there digital here, uh, especially in the stores. So pretty much that's it. And thank you for watching this part two of my video and hope to see you soon. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Havel!